Hey guys, welcome. I'm Spazman5190, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take advantage of the aeroscopic features of the Steam Controller on your desktop. I made a video demonstrating what it's like. I didn't really show you how to do it, and that's on my, on my part, that's my bad. We're going to be doing a dummy-friendly version for those of you who are getting your Steam Controller for the first time. We're going to go ahead and open up Steam, and in the top right corner here is the controller button. This is launch big picture mode, and it's required that you launch big picture mode in order to configure the Steam controller. So I'm using the Steam controller right now just to like move around, and you're going to go up to this gear button here, click that, or press A on the controller, and then go down to configurations, desktop configuration, because this is the controller that, the controller configuration that Steam uses when it detects that you're on the desktop. So once you're in here, you have all of these different options, and the gyroscopic option is this one here which is a gyroscope. I didn't know what it was at first, and I thought it was the genius symbol from Apple's iTunes. So, you go ahead and you click on that. It's going to ask you what style of input you want. Or just set it to mouse. If you want to go back later and play with some of these other inputs, that's cool, but mouse is generally the one you want. The way I to do it is just to set it to always on because otherwise you're going to have to be pushing other buttons to enable the gyro. Some people like that because they don't always want that gyroscopic feature. I like the gyro, um, but it does make a lot of noise. So set this haptics intensity to off. That way the motor in the controller won't be going off every time you tilt the controller or move it just slightly. The other thing is the sensitivity here. Now it doesn't look very high, but it does a good job at sensing where you want the mouse to be at this level. It does take a little bit of wrist action, so maybe you want to move it up to there or so. Play around with it and Tell me what you like. If you like this setup, leave a comment in the comment section below. And go go check out the JSB360 because he was the one who made me aware that I didn't actually tell you guys how to do this. So this is the end result, and this is just me moving the controller around. I'm not even pushing any buttons or anything, I'm just moving the controller. Um, let's see, that was about a 45 degree movement, maybe more like 90, so somewhere around 60 degrees of controller rotation just up and down you kind of get the same feeling that's pretty nice and you can use the same sort of clicking actions that you would with the default theme controller desktop configuration so that's how you do it just keep in mind that when you switch into big per picture mode it is a different configuration and they haven't given us the ability to configure big picture mode controller configurations yet. So that's all I have for now. Have a great day.